So motherfuckers, here we have our pivot code from last time. We find the velocity by subtracting a second position from the first, one being before rotation and one being after rotation. Then we divide by delta to find the final velocity. Here is our pivot scene. The pivot is in the center of the scene and we put the kinematic body at a radius which we call z distance so that when we rotate the center, we move the kinematic body around in a circle. The kinematic body moves faster the higher the value of rotation speed. The player is not following the rotation of the moving object, instead it is just facing one direction, so we need to fix that. One thing you may notice is that the moving platform is not spinning at all. It's because of this line of code right here. We're going to take it out for now, just so that you could actually, it doesn't look awkward when the player starts spinning and the moving platform isn't. I tested it and it makes you feel mo' fucking dizzy. So first off what we need to do is uh, instead of rotation speed times delta, we're going to do something else. We're going to capture the... Um, the current rotation, so let's name it current rotation, current rope, I'll just call it that. Uh, we'll start at 0.0, .0 as a float, and we're going to um, get this, uh, wait, I'll just do this, current rotate rote equals 0.0, .0. and right here we're going to get um, current rote equals rote speed times delta. And we're gonna do this. Turn, rope. So this will be the same as you can see. I'll just start it up again, and boom, it's still moving. Okay. We need to make a function that returns that rotation, and we're gonna call it get rotation, because this is how we're gonna deliver it to our player class. And our player class is gonna use this rotation. So I'm gonna say return current rote. So this is the exact thing that we're giving it. So we're getting the rotation speed times the delta that we used. And then we're rot returning it to whatever calls it. And right here in the kinematic body, don't forget to include the get velocity and get rotation functions. So that, because we're going to be touching this, and it's going to be um, asking for this. So we need both these functions right here. And it's going to ask the parent for the get rotation function. Okay. So now we are going to go into the player class. And uh, yeah, so uh, we're gonna need to be able to get the rotation from our thing. So we're gonna get from the, um, if we're touching it, we're gonna get from the touch, uh, the uh, kinematic collision. So in a kinematic collision, let's look at, uh, you got all this motherfucking shit. We got our uh, collider, which is what we're gonna use right here. And we also got collider velocity, which is how we're gonna get the velocity. But we're already getting the velocity as we saw last time, so we're not gonna worry about that. Instead, I'm gonna say if touched dot collider, and then say dot has method, and use the get rotation thing. And if it's um if it has that method, then we're gonna um get the rotation. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna say rotate y. And here, I need to bring up the player scene so that way you guys can see it. So we got, our, in a player scene, we have our player, a pivot that we use to rotate horizontally in a 3D controller, and then uh, our camera, which rotates up and down. So we rotate Y with the pivot, and we rotate X with the camera. So right here, we need to do the same thing. We need to act as if this thing is actually doing the rotation for our pivot, so it's making us look horizontally because we're getting the horizontal rotation of the moving platform that we're doing if it has a get rotation function. So now I'm going to do this dot collider dot get rotation. So if we make it into this if statement, we know it has this ro get rotation function. So this will work. And uh, you could probably print some error statements, but I'm not going to do it for this. Okay, so I have two spots where it goes and gets the. Um, Gets, it could get the rotation. Now I'm going to do this right here, and but boom. So uh, if it has a get rotation function, instead of touched, I'm going to use result. Result means that I'm getting, this is like where I'm getting like a ray shot right here, and it's down here. So it just gets a, it gets a world direct space state, gets an intersect rate of that, uh, gets an intersect ray from that space state, and it like basically shoots a ray from the player's location. Uh, whichever vector we want. So right here we're shooting it down at a vector of negative 10 
I could probably make it a little bit higher, but just make it however high you will jump. And let's see. So we're getting the rotation, rotating it, and I need to change this to result, which is why it was giving me a red line. And boom. Okay, so this should work. We should be rotating with the moving platforms now. It might crash. Man, I forgot to do something. Let's just see. So I'm going to jump over here. No, it's rotating with it now. One thing to note is that the child is also rotating as well as a pivot point. So there's kind of like two rotations kind of going on at the same time. As you can see, it's actually rotating the air. It just doesn't look like it too much because it's fall, it's um, it's uh, the pivot's also rotating. So you could imagine like a metal arm sticking into the center and that's where it's rotating from. But as you can see, the character is moving a little bit on here. That's because our object is also rotating. And there's also a little rotation from the pivot that we get but yeah, it's just a little bit of an inaccuracy, and I can't really figure out a good way to solve it at the moment. But you shouldn't fall off too much, and it shouldn't be too much of a bother. And uh, yeah. If we, for instance, comment this out, and then make this uh, just a normal rotation, then we should still rotate with the, um, the kinetic body should just rotate in place. Let's just see how we react to it. We are going to rotate in a circle around it still. That's what's happening. So we're kind of like going with the rotation of the thing. And we're kind of like going the opposite way that it's spinning for some reason. And that's probably just to do with it trying to keep up with the player. Or the player trying to keep up with the moving platform. So this is just something to watch out for. And hope you all have a great motherfucking day.